Hey, what's up? This is Dave, and I'm making my gear. I am proud to announce that the Atari Punk Console with 16-step sequencer is finally complete. As you can see, I had to make a little adjustment on the fly for the enclosure. Originally, I had a wooden box that I wanted to put it in, but there are so many wires in here that I could not get the lid closed on the box. So I went to the thrift store and I got this floppy disk storage thingy. And uh, here we are, it's done. So let's go to the overhead cam and I'll take you through the features of this thing. And at the end, I will talk about the things that I would change if I ever decide to make a version two. All right, here we go. So first things first, we've got a 12 volt barrel jack on the back here and we've got power right away. As you can see, the sequencer is already going. So we've got these on off switches for each step of the sequencer. We have these LEDs, which indicate which step it's on and a potentiometer for each step, which controls the voltage of each step. Uh, we've got a master course pitch. We've got a PWM knob and a power indication LED. CV1, which controls this knob. CV2, which controls this knob. CV out, which is the control voltage out of the sequencer and the gate which is the gate signals out of the sequencer then this switch here switches between either the internal clock or an external clock so right now it's on the internal clock we turn it to the external clock it'll stop it's waiting for a clock signal to come in finally we have a volume knob and an output jack let's get this hooked up to a crappy guitar amp and see what this thing sounds like Okay, so now let's get this hooked up to some effects and we will see what that sounds like. Thank you. 
All righty. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That was the Atari Punk console with the 16-step sequencer. It turned out pretty cool. I dig it. It'll be useful in certain situations. Uh, in the future, I would definitely use effects with it. By itself, it's a bit plain. But yeah, with effects, it sounds really cool. And uh, yeah, if I was going to do a version 2 of this thing, what would I change? Well, there's a bunch of things I would change, actually. The first is, is that when you turn off the step right now, it, it just turns off the knob. So the oscillator is still on. I would really like to be able to just like turn it off and have the note rest and then having a reset switch so that I can trigger when the sequence starts itself again. So right now it's just free running, being able to say, press a button, the sequence starts over again. Press a button, the sequence starts over again. To me, that would be really useful. Having a step limit switch so I could switch between like four, eight, 12, 16 steps would be really useful too, especially you know if you're working with other gear, uh, you could create some really interesting patterns and sort of like polyrhythmic stuff that would be really great another thing i noticed and this is this might be a fault of mine in the design phase is you don't really get a lot of notes out of the pots for each step they're pretty limited so i would definitely tweak that as for the physical design of it i would definitely want to cut down on the number of wires um so i would do way more pcb mount components which means i would likely need to do a multi-layer board so that would mean going to like a printed circuit board manufacturer to get the board done and then other than that having a built-in delay having a built-in filter an ADSR and a VCA would be really great it would just make it way more versatile way more expressive so yeah that's it that's the end of this build finally done Anyways, next couple videos, you know, I'm gonna try and tackle some shorter projects just so I can get more stuff made so that I can make more music you know so thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Later.